Hi, this is Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple pocket page using stamps and dies. I made this page to coordinate with a 12 by 12 traditional page, and I made my own pocket cards using Stampin' Up's Sea of Textures stamps and dies. I'm a traditional scrapbooker, so what I do here is I explain how I use traditional scrapbooking design principles on a pocket page. The first thing I do is cut cards from cardstock to fill in the empty pockets. I suggest cardstock weight paper here, otherwise it's too flimsy. Another thing I do is I create a visual line for the eyes using repetition. In this case, three white cards. I do the same thing on a traditional page. I'm starting to stamp the cards. What you'll see here is I'm stamping twice before re-inking simply to give myself a bit of variation in the color. And now I'm going to do some more stamping. All I'm doing here is creating decorations. They will be die cuts that I will use to decorate the page. Again, this is exactly what I do when I do a traditional page. In this case here, I'm stamping a sentiment from the stamp set, and it says, have a wonderful adventure, except I do not want the word have. So I covered it up with washi tape. I put ink on the stamp, removed the washi tape, and I got the sentiment I wanted, which is have a wonderful adventure. It's just a simple trick that you can use washi tape for. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the dies to cut out my decorations and I'm changing the base for my Big Shot here to the precision base because I'm going to cut out some more detailed pieces. I'm also using the sponge and brush kit in order to help remove some of these little pieces. So all I'm doing here is creating a whole bunch of die cuts so that I can decorate my page. I decide to make a banner with the sentiment, so I am going to use my Creative Memories guillotine trimmer here, and I am cutting a strip of paper with that. Then I will use my scissors simply to cut a little fishtail, and there you have it, a very easy banner. Now what I'm going to do is start building my embellishment clusters on the three white cards. Again, this is a technique I use when I create a 12 by 12 traditional page. I establish three places, or two depending on the page, where I will be creating the embellishment clusters, and then I go ahead and start creating them. Another thing I do is my embellishment clusters have different visual weights on the page. I don't want the clusters to be identical. Some are more heavier than others, and I'm going to do the very same thing on this pocket page. I also have the traditional page beside me. You cannot see that on the camera, but when you make a double page layout, it's good to have both pages there so that you can see how you decorate the two pages so that you can create flow across the two pages. I do that obviously with color and repetition, but in this case as well, you see two octopuses on this page. There is a third one on the coordinating page and that creates a visual triangle. You will see that in the photos at the end of this video. I'm also adding a bit of ink around the white edges. That is something I did on the coordinating page as well. Um, the fun thing about creating your own pocket cards is that obviously you can use scraps and that's fantastic. And you can also utilize the tools that you have in your stash. But you can also create cards with a lot of dimension and texture. You'll notice that I had put some on some of these pieces, I used some dimensional adhesive. Now, I didn't use 
thick dimensional adhesive because I don't want to make my pockets really, really thick, but you can add a little bit of dimension and that is actually nicer than the pocket cards that you buy. There are beautiful pocket cards that you buy and you can obviously add to it with a bit of dimension, but they're quite flat. So these are quite nice with dimension and texture. This is the end result. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.